Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plax's uh, 3D Shallow Foundation course from uh, Theory to Practice. In uh, the previous lecture, we simulated uh, the sh uh, square shallow foundation on cohesive soil and we uh, showed how to estimate the ultimate bearing capacity from uh, numerical analysis using uh, Plax's uh, 3D. So, in this uh, lesson, we will uh, try to uh, optimize the mesh size for shallow foundation in Plax's 3D. So, as we know, uh, mesh size is an important factor that affects the numerical uh, results, uh, especially for uh, such application like uh, shallow foundation or estimation. Uh, the ultimate uh, bearing capacity or allowable bearing capacity from uh, low settlement curves. So let's go to the uh, plexus. Uh, this is the uh, example from a previous lesson, which were which was lesson uh, three. So I will uh, save this uh, uh, file under a different name. To uh, estimate the effect of mesh, mesh uh, size on the result, I click on file and save project as. So I go to desktop. This is our course. So I will uh, copy this title Optimizing Mesh Size for Shallow Foundation in Plaxis 3D. Save. So now this is a lesson four. Uh, the only thing we change, we will change a mesh, and also, as I mentioned before, uh, the boundary condition is uh, very big for this example. So we will uh, try to uh, use uh, smaller uh, geometry for the soil because it is not uh, necessary, and uh, we can change by go to file. Pro project properties and instead of uh, 18 by 18 we will use 12 by 12 so I will change uh, this minus 9 to uh, 6 6 minus 6 and <coughs> 6 like that uh, we can also adjust the borehole uh, location we will move the borehole location to minus 6 and minus six. Also, we will uh, decrease the height of the soil layer to minus six as well. Let the water head also be located on the minus head. Okay, so uh, <coughs> I just decreased the soil geometry and uh, soil layer height. Uh, in the next step, we will go to the structure. So the load also is the same, and the soil properties are near the footing, like that. So these are the coordinates of the uh, surface, which is uh, three meters by three meter. Okay, well, we haven't changed anything. So in the initial phase, uh, the load and plate uh, have to be uh, deactivated. In the footing phase, the plate have to be uh, has to be activated, and in the loading phase, we also activate the surface load. So we also have to uh, select a point for the curve at the center of the footing. So. We know that the footing is located on the top surface of the soil geometry and the coordinates of the center of the footing are zero, uh, 0 by 0. So in here we have to select a node that is on the plate on the footing. Update. Now it is uh, ready for uh, calculation and we can start calculation.
it was uh, finished uh, it, it was uh, finished in a very short time because we used uh, a very coarse mesh in uh, this uh, case we can see the results here as we can see the maximum uh, displacement is 0 0.09 this is the deformed shape of the footing uh, so uh, as we did in the uh, lesson uh, 3 we can uh, go to the curve manager to draw a curve between the load and settlement new in, in the x direction we choose a multiplier m stage and in the y direction we choose a node which we selected before and we uh, are interested in the settlement in the z direction of the footing also we have to remove uh, the data from the initial and footing phase so these are uh, uh, this is the low settlement curve for uh, the uh, very coarse mesh in from basic and trezac bearing capacity equation so this indicate that actually uh, the bearing capacity equations like Terzaghi and Vizik are very conservative. So uh, this was uh, the lesson 4 which was about optimizing the mesh uh, size for shallow foundation in Plaxis uh, 3D. Uh, see you in the next lesson.